Hello and welcome to my trailer. Doing a review on the trailer. We're one year in now and uh, I can comfortably talk about my setup, how I like it, how I did set it up, the customizations I made, and uh, life in the road, living out of a toy box. This is the 28 foot gooseneck Brant series um, from Huber Trailer Sales. This thing has been beauty. Up front here, I always run a, a generator. Those are my slip tanks. <laughs> and the plug-in's right here, so a little, you know, five to 10 foot extension cord. You never have to take out the generator. In the underbox. <laughs> We have a barbecue, some wood. I usually put more wood in there, but it's in the back right now. A couple of propane tanks. Pretty easy setup. Your spare tires there. The jack is powered with a key. And then here's some mods I put on. A little uh, leveler this way and a leveler this way. So when you're setting up the trailer, you got everything you need with the, with the power jack and the levels to uh, get her done the proper way. Trailer's fitted with an awning. It's got lights under the awning. That's really sick. Um, if you just pop the awning out a little bit, the light line that goes all the way from one end to the other actually lights up the ground quite a bit. You can damn near have a party with it. Actually, you can. <laughs> all right, starting in the back. This is a, a new addition I got here with the bicycle mount. I have to bring this to the coast to get uh, that shock built and also probably gonna ride it a bit. So there, parts bin. The only thing I don't have a solution for yet is my ramp. It just lays on the ground, but we have room here. As you can see, we got one snow bike here, snowmobile, and then the other snow bike. So from the back, this is what we're looking at. Boom. So along the side, I opted for snowmobile tracking on just one side, not both, because this side I wanted to be able to run a toolbox, which I'll show you in a bit, and I only ever run one or a buddy's sled. So I can fit two snow bikes front to back on this side and two sleds on that side. So it works pretty good for everything. We got the bike binders locking it down. We got some. It's the best way to do it. It really is. Uh, I'll show you the front. The brake binders are set up a little different. And then I have some e-track along the wall to throw a table. You can throw something else there. Now, if you're wondering what these big silver doors are, those are the race doors. So they close, both sides close. You can leave the door open and brings a lot of natural light into the trailer and lets you keep the door open and keep the heat in. So, pretty sweet. Little things, stick on clips. Um, don't put too much weight on them, especially when you're traveling, but they work good for, uh, they work good for hanging the little stuff. Coming, whoa, we got the mirror. <laughs> That's the vlog setup. All right, moving on. Uh, this is your awning switch. Again, put a couple more hooks on, just stick on hooks, allow you to put the keys there. Um, this is something I changed from stock. So just the timer, I left the thermostat because it works pretty good, but the timer was a six hour timer. So when you're sleeping in the trailer, sometimes, you know, you sleep more than six hours and if it's cold outside, uh, you wake up and it's really freaking cold. So I put a longer timer in so you can set that um, up to 12 hours or it even has a hold phase, which uh, just means it stays on. So that's one of the upgrades that we did. All right, going to the toolbox setup. So I added this power bar in here, just a simple Amazon buy. It's like, I don't know, three, four feet, four feet, I guess. Um, lots of power. Got it running up. You know, just quick, these little quick fold little clamps, and then runs up into there. And then I plumbed in a, a wire to there, which I have a light coming out. I have 
things to charge. Uh, it's hard to see. There's, you know, drill charger, radio charger, that kind of stuff up there. The toolbox itself, it's a Husky. It's from Home Depot. Nothing special. Um, and then I had this frame custom built by uh, Custom Stainless and Sheet Metal out of uh, Calgary, Bart Stevenson. Now, with this, we have an angled floor in this trailer. So, it's raised here, goes down, goes down over the wheels. So, to, to get a level toolbox, it takes a little bit of fab work. Obviously, the vise must need... As we're working our way back, I want to highlight the extra cabinets. So usually it comes with one cabinet and a helmet rack. So I added another cabinet there and another cabinet there. So two extra cabinets for extra storage space. And honestly, could use more. There's, <laughs> you never have enough storage space. Next, I added some hooks on the wall. Uh, a backpack hook uh, and two more hooks over there for extension cords. And then it has the tie down system in play that comes stock some more bins parts I got a ski over there gas can just something to keep it off to the side again sled not clamped down brake on which I need to do all right walking up front this beauty that is a picnic table this picnic table has been awesome um, we've used it many times whether you know, you're, you're camping and it rains outside or just want something warm to stay or whatever. Um, but you can pile quite a bit of people in here. Obviously, sit four around the uh, picnic table. Throw a couple extra chairs down on the side. And uh, even the back bench there is, uh, it's, it's like a heated seat. And uh, so we've piled, you know, 10, 11 people in here in the cold. And uh, still managed to play games or socialize and having fun. So it works good and it just folds down. It's really easy setup. Um, microwave back there, which obviously microwave, gotta have it once in a while. Um, oil jug rack, this is all stock. Big old loaded up with the liquid molly. We got the two stroke oil for the sled and then the 040 for the snow bike. Um, some fork oil up there and my gear rack. Uh, that's pretty much how I run it all winter with the gear out. I added in um, a hook on top. This is for the longer stuff for the onesies, if you have any, um, or just to even declutter the main coat rack space. Some more e track I placed here, just two strips. Tie down all your chairs. This is my mechanic chair, and then obviously the camping chairs. That's my storage. Keeps everything tight against the wall so things aren't floating around across the across the floor. Gear up benches. These things are pretty sick. Gear up bench. Worked great. Um, we ended up moving one. So this one over here was where the toolbox is. So we had to move it. But not a big deal. Worked fine. Um, yeah. Pretty simple. This e-track system, this e-track system I have running from one side to the other. It allows us to put multiple bikes up here. If we want to put three bikes up here, we could. And then the sled in the back. And then a fourth bike there. So you could run four snow bikes and the snowmobile pretty comfortably in here. And then in the back, of course, I have just the, the standard kits that the bike binders come with. So, it gives you lots of options to move bikes around and do what you need. And as you can see, the, the toolbox actually isn't that inconvenient because the bars only have another six to eight inches that they can move over anyways. So, it's, it's pretty mint. Works good. All right, next we have the boot dryer. So, four sets of boots go on here. Four sets of gloves. Keeps everything nice and dry. And then this trailer has uh, two propane heaters. So one of the heater blows out these four vents that are along the side of the box that just help heat the trailer. The other heater is responsible for 
um, heating up this boot dryer and the glove dryer as well as doing the floor vents um, throughout. Uh, it also heats the, heat, the helmet box because the helmet box is heated as well. Not a lot, it just kind of trickles in there. Um, what I did this year, um, I had to do some work on one of the heaters, some maintenance. So I took it all apart and I actually insulated it with like this half inch, you know, stick on foam foil style insulation. Uh, made it quite a bit quieter and uh, also this box is quite hot to touch from factory. So it kind of helped with the heat on there. Um, so yeah, pretty easy to take apart, pretty easy to work on yourself. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. All right, now we got the bed up front. So I'm, like I said, packed to hit the road right now so all this stuff can move once I get going. But got a nice four inch foam mattress here. Just, uh, it's actually a mattress topper from Walmart. Um, and then I run a fan to uh, help blow the heat through the trailer sometimes if I'm plugged into power. And also a space heater. And what I'll do with that space heater is set it up here and I'll I'll face it like at me into this top little nook. Um, and if it's not too cold outside and your bikes are dry, you actually don't even have to run the heater um, in the trailer. That space heater is usually enough to just keep this front little uh, portion warm enough to sleep comfortably. So it works pretty good. What else is there? Obviously the uh, it, from stock comes with all these USB outlets. This is your voltmeter for your solar panel, but it's just filled with USB outlets. There's uh, four there, four there, eight total. Um, stereo system, everything works pretty good. And then the Mac Daddy up here, the storage bins. All right, on the ground, facing up. These are the storage bins, these things are crazy. I'm always worried it's gonna fall. There's a lot of weight up there. Two Ojo bags. You know, that's your uh, your 9800, your big, big style gear bag. Let me get out of the way. Two big Ojo bags fit up there, and two up here as well. So, load it up. <laughs> it is scary going underneath them though. Sometimes, I feel, I feel like they, they can't hold forever, but. They seem to be doing a good job so far. There's a lot of weight I got up there. I'm not sure if there's a maximum. I should probably check into that, but that's all right. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyways, so this is the trailer. Uh, what is that, Mikasa? And uh, thank you for, for coming along, checking it out. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up. Comment on here. Uh, I will reply and uh, can let you know. If I've found anything or try and solve solve any problems you might have. Anyways, I gotta hit the road. Time for you to leave. Bye bye.